Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 12 of Old World and I am still in this war with Carthage. They've already taken one of my cities and I think they may take another one or two. I don't have the opportunity to peace out with them at the moment as another city is about to fall. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, rescue these cities. They simply just have too many units and too many orders. They've got like 50 something orders. I mean, I can probably thin them out, but, you know, the AI just always has that advantage of having more resources. And they seem to be able to do a lot more damage than I do. The AI does still do stupid things, though, like why move a ranged unit right into melee range with a melee unit to take a shot? That doesn't make a lot of sense. And they are going for my ranged units. Yeah, now they're going for that worker. I expected that they would do. They've still got 11 orders left. Still dealing with the Danes up here. That's the Queen dying. That's fine. We don't want Judaism. Mm, I really don't want to... Can use legitimacy to buy orders, which is nice. We'd lose a little bit of global training, but we're not making that much anyway, so it doesn't make a huge deal of difference. Let us try and get rid of this unit, because it's a, it's annoying me. Right, we'll heal these up, because now we, we've cleared the Danes out, we can start bringing these units back. We do have units up here. So we're going to start trying to save... I mean, this is our capital city, right? We need to save this one. You're going to... Um, oh, I can't even force march with you. I don't think he's going to be able to take it anyway, so I'm not overly concerned there. Obviously, we've got some big problems going on here. You've got a range of four. So I could back you up. I just don't think we're going to be able to do enough damage to really make a difference here so we've lost this city can we peace out with them i mean i don't think i can it's a different ruler now anyway yeah we don't have an ambassador let's get the one with the massive amount of opinion And then we can truce. Let's try and call this off. I know I could be trying to take back stuff that I've lost, but I feel at this stage... Um, I feel at this stage that's just going to end up with me losing more units chances are i could still win even if i end the war and lose the cities that i've lost it's annoying it sure is annoying but we can probably manage so if i can still find a way to come out of this with a win i'll take it So we are currently still at war. That's worth remembering here. We haven't pieced out yet. But I don't really have any other units that I can do anything with. So that's why I'm just trying to get some um, upgrades and stuff done. Not that there's much that I can do over here. Let's build a market. You're getting attacked, so... I mean, you can back up. It's not going to do anything except make them chase after me. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Yeah, they've got, they start the turn with something like 60 orders, which is a lot. Right, they are backing off with that unit. Now, didn't I do some damage to that unit? Why is it back at full health? And if it healed, why was it able to move after healing? Calling shenanigans on that. 
Hopefully they won't be able to take that city. Right, okay, they've finished. Messenger arrives with a warning. Oh, we're not bothered by that. Um... Yeah, let's take the wisdom. Okay, are we still at war? Yes, we are still at war. Is this still going on? The mission is active. It's going to be one more year. So we could end up losing more stuff. So we do need to be a little bit careful. I don't seem to have any useful military units around that I can do anything with. So you've moved down here. I can't get to that city, but I can come down here and hit this unit. Didn't kill it. Obviously, it didn't go back to full health. It just looked like it had. This unit, this city's already fallen. This one should be fine. I can start bringing some of these units back to the south now. It's not going to make much of a difference at this stage. You could go and, like, attack the elephant, but really, is there any point? Let's come over here and just attack the archer. It might force them to relocate. And you're just going to stay there anyway. Not too much point moving the scouts. You're probably going to die, so let's just disband you. Um, I don't know what you were doing there. Could get an Odin, I suppose. We don't have the rocks, but we can buy them. And one more worker. I think you can just heal up. Okay, let's end the turn here and see if we can get out of this war. They're still going to get a whole turn to attack us. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we'll lose anything. Well, obviously, a worker. But workers can easily be replaced. They've got 27 orders left. Right, they didn't go full on attack there. Still attacking a few units. Okay, that's it. They've used all of their orders now. Oh, formally denying our request. So they won't even give us the truth. Uh, the truce. Let's get the goods boost. So we could go back to them again and ask for another truce. We're going to have to, like, give them a gift or something. Yeah, this is gnarly. I think we're going to end up losing uh, far more than I can afford to lose here. Well, this is pretty bad. Because I don't have many military units left at all you can get a promotion I mean, just look how many turns it's taking me to just try and get rid of one unit you're suddenly surrounded by units but at least we can get a get a kill out of that we've got a chariot up here now so we can come and attack the elephant and we do have these units up here that we can start moving south but again it's a little bit too late in the day for them to really contribute. Uh, you could... Can you reach anybody? Anything? Start moving you down here. That's all of our orders used. So you've completed a chariot. Let's get another one. You've completed an axe man. Let's get another. You've completed the festival. We can get a war elephant here, so let's. And you've completed an axe man. Let's get another one. Professional army or volunteers? I think we go for professional army here. All of our orders have been used up. So let's end the turn and see what happens. So again, it's still going to be several years before we can um, make this uh, peace treaty. We're probably going to lose a fair more units before that happens. Yep, there's another unit lost. So once again, it, it does feel very unbalanced in terms of war. 
on an easy difficulty level, me attacking the AI, I could barely take a city or farm his units down. Whereas on this difficulty level, the, the AI is absolutely ripping me to pieces here. Admittedly, I could have had more military units and I could have given them more promotions and made sure they all had generals and things like that, but the war really came out of nowhere. But they just have so many orders, and I think that's the thing that's sort of crippling me right now. I just don't have the orders to be able to fight back. Let's go over here and get ourselves a barracks for more training. You're getting attacked by that elephant. Now, I do have some units here. Could do a reasonable amount of damage to the elephant. This city is completely surrounded. Guess I've got to go for the archer here. They are now one victory point ahead of me. Yeah, I'm going to keep trying to attack that elephant. I keep bringing these units down. I don't have roads this far north, so movement from up here is slow. Especially with a war elephant. Uh, anything else? Oh, you can move down one further. So that's all of our military units done. I think I'm just going to run away with you. And yeah, let's build a quarry there. And uh, I've got a worker here who will just heal up. Okay. Two cities, you've completed an axe man. Let's get an archer, only four turns. Uh, and that's, you've now built the treasury. Still can't get the walls. Let's get a worker up there. Might all be for nothing. But let's hit end turn and see how it goes. I think if I lose too many more units or too many more cities, I might just call it quits and realize that I've made a misplay on this particular campaign. Because I've literally got no army left now, apart from those handful of units that were up fighting the Danes. I've pretty much lost everything else. I've lost at least two cities. I mean, I'm only still one point behind, though. But this city could fall as well. So they've got so much training and so many orders, they can just afford to run their units all the way around the map. I mean, look at them. How many movements was that? The amount of orders the AI must be burning through to do that. They'll, they'll accept tribute. And we have to pay them training. Well, that's fine. I don't even have that much training, so go for it. <laughs> On negative training. So the war has ended. The war has ended, but I have no units left. They have taken one... They've taken two cities from me. Was that mine? can't even remember now. Okay, so they are only one point ahead. We'll see what we can do with this. It's not all over yet. We definitely want to make sure that we keep trying to build ourselves back up, though. So we've got this worker here. What should I do with you? Let's go and get some more lumber mills. Okay, so that all went pretty badly, but I think we can do it. Uh, I don't want to send gold to Persia. You can become Zealot or Schema. Let me give you a Schema and get a Spy Master then. And let's give you Warlike. I still want to move some of my military units to the south, particularly because I've got a feeling that they might declare war on me again. So let's definitely get some units down here. And I think I might need to get some more workers as well. Because we have lost a few. Okay, let's end the turn there. Still at war with the Danes, of course. We can probably peace out with the Danes. 
I'll have to do that on the next turn. New power rises. Yes, we'll take the wisdom. Don't know what I'm going to do with you yet. Can I just peace out with you? Oh, no. Because I don't have... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, there might be more Danes up here, though. I should probably leave at, what, leave at least one unit up here to defend. And I'm going to heal up all of my remaining units, what few of them I have. So heal up the worker. Now where was that road I was building? It wasn't you. And get a shrine, get a, a, a quarry for 9.5. There's a 10 quarry we could get there as well. And yeah, there's just you now. Let's start bringing you back down. Some more military units that we can move. Yeah, everybody there seems fine. What about our scout units? Yeah, can't do too much with you. We get a spy master because we can get one. Let's put you in as a spy master. Then I can get you to move into that city. I'm going to start trying to mess them up with um, with agents if we can. Probably won't make any difference whatsoever. Okay, let's end the turn. Again, uh, I'm still only one point behind. So theoretically, we could still win this. So is there anything here that would really boost my ability to get culture? Well, we want to get the baths, actually, because we want to reduce that discontent level. So let's do that. Um, upgrade you to Prosperous. We need a new wife. We're probably going to die soon, but can we not get one? No, we don't even have the option for that anymore. Okay, so we've got a worker here. We've got some roads, so we don't need to worry about that anymore. Not giving me any suggestions. Let's go down here and build the shrine. Again, a barracks could be useful. Uh, you, what's that suggesting? A stronghold. Yeah, let's get another barracks. That's, I mean, they're a little bit pointless at the moment because of this amount that we're having to pay out. For the, well, I'm not going to call it war rep reparations. Why am I having to repair? They were the ones that started it. Um, let's build the Odium, because that's culture, and it will give us another urban tile. And yeah, let's move you down to another city and try and spread. So, heal up any injured units. Yeah, you're just going to go back up there. I mean, I can't afford to promote any of these units either, so they are literally just going to sit around and do nothing for a while. Um, let's get moats where we can. Should get moats everywhere and end the turn. Hope nobody else declares war on me. We could go and get a Chancellor. So we probably should. Uh, rebels. We have problems with rebels. Uh, we will take the legitimacy. Let's get a chancellor. You'll do. Um, yeah, where were those rebels? Well, like rebels spawned somewhere. There's the rebels. I mean, good luck dealing with the elephant. But okay. Right, so what have we got left? Workers. Uh, 
Um, this city is connected to the network. Let's go and get a range over here. I guess what I could do... Yeah, let's get you down to this city. What I could do is make sure that I've got any units standing on tiles that will give them some XP. Um, that's a range, yeah. So all of these units will start g gaining passive XP now. Yeah, no more around. Can't do anything about that. Uh, we've got another worker here. Suggesting a hamlet. Let's go and get the shrine. And we'll end the turn. I think we've got time for one more turn. It's a shame that I lost those two cities. It was always my intention to try and take cities from Carthage. Not to have them take them from me, but... As I've pointed out before, war in this game just doesn't work. Looks like we've got more rebels. Um, we'll take the new citizen. We'll give them another whack. That makes them panic. Did I get more rebels? I thought I had another pop-up about rebels. Yes, here. Flipping annoying. Just an archer. I can give them a good smack. Can I make these this family happier? Because you're quite unhappy. You want honey. You also want um, olives. I don't think I have olives. Manage luxury. Oh, I do have olives. Let's give you the olives. Game is making a weird sound there. Um, yeah, let's go and put that there. We can also grab a lumber mill there on another turn. This would have been a plus. Uh, this would have been a plus ten quarry. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna heal you up. And that is. That's just the city. So what can we have you doing? Build a monastery up there. Let's build the monastery. And that's about all we can do. You guys are just going to sit quietly. Especially those of you that are on tiles where you're going to get XP. You're not on one of those tiles, but not much you can do about it. And we've got one more unit, which is this one. We are building a barracks, so you're going to move there and then sit still. And that is the end of the turn, so I'm going to end the video there. So not the outcome that I was hoping for. Um, lost a couple of cities. I mean, okay, they weren't my best cities, so that's fine. I think it was just those two. This one wasn't mine, was it? That was always Carthage's city. Um... I'm not even sure now. Maybe it was Carthage's. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I've definitely lost two cities. Maybe three. Uh, we've still got this one here to build. I had another settler somewhere. If I don't, I need to get one. So we can get another city up here. Uh, and remember, you gain points from your cities leveling up. So uh, we can still do this. We haven't got four baths yet either. We only killed 10 out of 15 military units. Let's have a quick look at where... Can we see where Squall's coming from? Oh, it's, it's done over here, isn't it? Yeah, so I've only got... I've got two weak cities. I've got four developing cities. So potentially I've got a lot of... Um, a lot that can still come in. I still need to build some more wonders as well. Haven't had any for a while. Definitely need... Where's the capital? Because you can always build better ones in the capital. Yeah, none at the moment. Really do need to try and get... Um, get some wonders built. We're probably not going to manage... Four cold baths we can probably do. Although our current ruler is... No, 53. Looks older. Um, but we might be able to manage... So currently 53, so we might be able to manage the four cold baths one. That'll certainly put us on 5 out of 10 
for the ambition. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It's not over yet. We are more than halfway through in terms of time. I'm level pegging with Carthage in terms of war uh, victory score. And that's only because they've managed to take two cities off me. Uh, I could still beat them. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you are still enjoying this series of Old World. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.